you're always kind of like just trying to reach normalcy whenever you have cancer. I feel like you're always pushing to be like, just want to be myself again. I had a feeling that something was going on. I was 17 years old and my dad took me to the regional hospital. That's where uh, they diagnosed me with uh, ALL. The first time around, whenever I was first diagnosed, was scary, but I felt like I was younger, I could get through it a little quicker. But with the relapse, it was something that was a little more tangible and it felt a little more out of my hands. I remember just being in the car with my girlfriend, my now wife, and I think she could tell from the tone of my voice because I was on the phone that something wasn't great. I just remember being absolutely terrified and having my like stomach hit the floor and just thinking about like how we would tackle it together. When Brandon was in the hospital going through his um, first uh, bone marrow transplant, I decided to fold a thousand paper cranes. It's kind of a symbol of good luck and a good prayer for good health for him to get through it. Just facing the unknown, um, I wanted to spend as much time with Brandon as I could um, and just kind of enjoy our day to day. I stayed in the area for like a month and then I kind of went back to my normal life or like tried to. And then after that, and this is a span of like years and years, it kind of started popping up in more areas. At that point we had already gone through, you know, chemo and transplant and radiation and the only other option was just to cycle through the same treatments over and over. After a decade of treatment, then CAR-T came along. I was just lucky to live long enough to see this advance come out of the labs and into my life. We had just, you know, started off on this journey together. I couldn't imagine, you know, anything happening to you. Whenever the doctor gave me the option for CAR-T cell therapy, he said that there, there's a new research going on, something where, you know, we'll take your cells and we'll send them out and they'll be altered and then we'll introduce them to you so it's your own cells and they're just gonna like take care of the cancer that's left. Thought about it and I was like, that doesn't sound anywhere near what I've already done. So I think that's something that I wanna do. He was able to like work with me. He's been incredible this whole entire time. We have a new way of treating their cancer. One where we can use their immune system to help us combat the disease. One where we're building in the ability for their immune system to see the cancer the same way they would an infection. Once I completed it, it worked for me and I've been cancer free for four and a half years. This treatment has been something that really has kind of like stamped out the rest of cancer for me. I feel like it was a whirlwind. Just yeah. trying to get back to life was a good celebration. Yeah. Um, going back to our apartment, being with our dog again. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like getting to be a little family. 